Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to give you guys my review of E-Trade. So, as of this review, I am no longer with E-Trade because I think it is a shady uh, stock trading company. There are some, uh, there's some things that I like about E-Trade as a stock trading platform and there are a lot of negatives uh, that I don't like about it. But overall, I really have a negative assessment of the whole entire stock trading field. Uh, I've traded stocks for about 10 years, but I'm probably gonna go into that in other videos. But with this video, I will say that um, I did start out with Scott Trade uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, I used that platform for about, I would say, seven to eight years. And then I uh, used E-Trade with Scott Trade. I had two platforms to trade off with. Um, and uh, I've stopped using E-Trade because the last trade that I made with them, I think they screwed me over. In fact, I pretty much know that they screwed me over. But I'm probably gonna save that for another story, but I'm just gonna go through the good points and the bad points about this company, about stock trading with E-Trade and using them as a platform. First of all, I like to say that as a platform, I prefer Scott trade it might be because I've been with them for a lot longer but I find the user interface as far as trading stocks a lot easier um, okay I'm not gonna say that I probably like Scott trade because I've been with them longer they really do have a better stock trading uh, user interface on their website than each trade does I find uh, each trades website to be um, a lot com a lot more complicated, not more comp, well, not as much more complicated as that. It's not, um, it's not ergonomical as, as far as where the layouts are concerned, how to get to certain uh, parts of the website, uh, particularly with trading, uh, putting a trade in and, and that sort of stuff. So I prefer SkyTrade over that. SkyTrade's user interface is a, it's easier. Um, it's it's a lot more simpler. Uh, it's more straightforward. And when you do put a trade in, um, it it goes through right away. Um, it goes through a lot more simpler as far as giving you um, some some kind of account or record that it's gone through that has been processed. But going back to E-Trade, I have, I had a margin account with E-Trade, um, probably around three thousand thirty-five hundred dollars. Um, I, I was okay with E-Trade as far as margin accounts concerned. The only issue I had was uh, there are no warnings. Um, any kind of warning they had, originally. It's on there. They have a little segment on the website that notifies you of warnings. Okay, you can set up where it will send you an email if you know it's it's below if your account is below margin or if any kind of issue has come up. You know you can, but you would have to set it on the website. It's not automatically set up on the website that you get any kind of email notification or text messaging notification or any of that. And that's one of the issues that I have with E-Trade. When I had Scott Trade, um, they automatically send me notifications, they automatically send me um, margin calls, um, they automatically send me that information when uh, Immediately, not only immediately, but they send it to my email. I don't have to set that up, <clears throat> and and you would think that that would be something that would be automatic, but not with E Trade. They don't do that, and that's one of the reasons why I find them to be a really, really shady company. Um, normally, that should be a given that that if there is an issue with your account, that you get at least an email message to your account so that you can 
find out what, what the issue is and deal with it. But they, they don't do that and that's very shady of them. That is very shady of them. Um, the second thing that I did not like about each fray and that has to over that it, it that has an overlap uh, as that's over that's going to overlap as far as me not liking the way they don't have uh, an immediate way to get in contact with if there's an issue with their account and that is as far as margin calls are concerned with Scott Trade, if you go below the margin of two thousand dollars and you have a margin account and you're using margin on the account, they send you uh, emails stating that you have to put in a certain amount of money. You have to raise your account to two thousand dollars or above, um, so that you keep your account active, or they will sell your stocks. E Trade does not do that. For example, I had a stock. Uh, that I bought at 2300 and I went below margin um, and it went to about 15 it went to like 1800 and then 17 and then 15 and then it went to 1100 um, it was a really scammy stock that I had bought and um, each each trade did not notify me they okay they did notify me on the website um, about a week after my account was under margin and my account was at around I don't know eleven hundred dollars before they sent me a margin and they kept they they allowed me to tr to keep uh, the stock up un until the stock went down to five hundred dollars from twenty three hundred and after that they sold my stock without notifying me of it um, uh, which I thought it was kind of scammy, but that's a whole complicated matter as far as that's concerned, and I will probably do another video about that. Um, I felt that it was very scammy of them to do that, and I called them a couple of times, cursed them out, and they would not do anything about it as far as that's concerned. So I think, uh, as far as that experience is concerned, I think a lot of their uh, stock traders uh, have issues with a fiduciary duty as far as fiduciary duty to um, their stockholders or people who trade on that platform. I think they have an, alter an ulterior motive as far as trading your stocks, selling your stocks um, at the worst possible time. But I'm just going to go, um, I'm just going to talk about that um, at another time uh, in another video. But as far as far as the uh, the platform is concerned, is it's I think it's crappy. I think it's really crappy. But the other thing that I like, the thing that I do like about E Trade is they do send you a debit card. Um, with Scott Trade, what they'll do is they will send you a. They will not send you a debit card. There, the only way to get money out of your stock, that your Scott Trade account is to either. Go to the office or call them up and ask. No, I believe the only way to get money out of a Scott Trade account is to go to the office and either have them do a um, a money deposit where it's going to cost you twenty dollars, or they send you a check and you get that check within a week or whatever. With E Trade, they actually send you, give you a debit card where you can actually debit your money out of your account. Um, and you could actually use that like it's a banking account. It probably is a banking account, but I've never, I mean, I've never actually thought of E Trade uh, in that regard. Now, as far as scamminess of the website is concerned, I've been trading stocks for the last ten years, and I'm just going to tell you guys that the whole entire market, everything that revolves around stock trading, uh, stock trading platforms, Wall Street. Everything is just an absolute scammy, scammy operation from top to the very bottom. It's just an absolute scammy, scammy, scammy thing. It's worse than going to a casino and and gambling. But again, I'm probably gonna go uh, over that um, on um, on another video. As far as opening an account, it's pretty simple. You, either, you can either open the account online or you can call them up to open an account. Um, 
so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, I've actually never cared for, um, you know, them giving you bonus 30 trades for starting up or whatever. That's never something that I actually uh, care about. They, the um, per trade is um, more expensive on each trade than on uh, Scott trade um, per trade. Uh, either uh, if you, whether you're long or short on the trade, it's probably making a trade. I think it costs you. It costs you about nine ninety nine. Um, and uh, Scott trade has a lower fee. It costs you about seven ninety nine uh, per trade. Um, you could probably get a lower fee per trade on other uh, stock trading platforms. Um, I've looked into it, but I've never um, used any other platform besides E-Trade and, and Scott Trade. So after after um, I had that trading incident where E-Trade uh, sold off my shares at the worst possible time, I, I ventured online, I've looked done some research on complaints about E-Trade and there are a ton of complaints about E-Trade as far as E-Trade not not caring about their fiduciary duty towards uh, traders, towards uh, their customers, uh, towards towards uh, traders who have signed up on their flip plat platform and uh, apparently my issue that I had with them in particular with that trade is not an isolated issue um, there are a lot of different people who have lost a ton of money putting their money with each trade uh, and uh, me losing about three thousand dollars on that trade um, it wasn't the worst they there's been people who each trade have held money from for no reason whatsoever. There have been cases where each trade has actually taken people's money outright and not given back to them. And people have hired, had to hire lawyers to go after them to try to get money, their money, from each trade. So, my personal thought of each trade. As far as my review of it is concerned, I don't have a very high um, don't have a very high regard for this company. Um, every single person who you call on on their customer service line, um, they seem to be nice. Um, they seem to be nice, but when it comes to the backhanded things that they do as far as working against you um, on trades and stuff like that is beyond scammy and I don't know how they get away with stuff like that. Um, for instance, that uh, stock trading issue that I had with them that I've told you guys about earlier where uh, uh, I went below margin from 2300 all the way down to $500 and they've only sent me um, two notices, margin call notices and that was when my account was well below the $2,000 mark. Um, the margin mark that you need to hold for margin is $2,000 and uh, they they did not send me any kind of notice until at the very end uh, where my account was down to about $1,100. And um, they don't really care about you is what I'm talking about. They don't, they don't go out of the way. They don't even go the minimum as far as trying to notify you of issues with your account. Uh, which I just think that it would be a given for anything, uh, any kind of trading platform. So they, they are a shady company as far as, um, as far as I'm concerned. So I, um, but then again, 
I'm gonna say that about a lot of these trading companies, but as far as E-Trade is concerned, they're very loose with their policies. They're very loose with their policies for a company that is uh, as established um, as they are. So as far as a, for, for me to give you guys a review of this company, a, a kind of a rating from like a five-star rating as the best rating, I'm gonna give this company a two-star rating. Um, if you guys do some research on the internet, Google or whatever, Google E-Trade and you know complaints, E-Trade and stock trading issues, E-Trade and them withholding money from people, putting your money in their account and have them hold money from you for no good reason whatsoever, or or selling your stock and not notifying you um, of, 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 of margin calls well below the margin limit, um, you will find that there are a ton, a ton, a ton of complaints um, against them. And uh, I found out that the I was going to sue them for the stock trade that they made um, against me, that they made um, as far as that whole scenario is concerned, which is a complicated scenario, but I'll go over that in another video. As far as what they did to me, I was going to sue them, but... Uh, I found out that you actually can't sue stock trading companies in small claims court or just get a lawyer and sue them. There's an organization, and I forget what it's called right now, but there is an organization that you got to go through to, um, to sue them. Right, that organization is called FEMRA. You got to go through that, and it's just a big hassle. Um, and uh, I just didn't bother going that route because I knew nothing about it and it would just take uh, so much effort to do it that there's no point to it. And I think I'm pretty sure that's why the whole entire stock trading industry platform um, is it's, it's, it's constructed in such a way that uh, that you just can't win against them. So if, if, if the whole stock trading platform the whole stock trading industry was a casino they'd be the house and apparently the house always wins um, because I don't know of a single person personally who has made money trading stocks and the people I know are very very intelligent people um, who uh, have have gone out the way to study the stocks that they before they purchased it, that who have gone out the way to um, do their due diligence, as they say, um, before they trade stocks, and not a single one of them have actually made money trading stocks. But that's another video that I'm gonna get into. But as far as my thoughts on E Trade at this point, um, I think if you guys are looking to um, sign up with them. You guys probably should look into um, complaints about them, um, uh, complaints as far as them hold, withholding money, complaints as them um, bypassing the fiduciary duty and trading your stocks at 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 the absolute worst time um, without giving you proper notice, uh, uh, not having their fiduciary, not having, not caring about their fiduciary duty as far as setting the website up where it notifies you um, that uh, that there are issues with your account and stuff like that so uh, my review of E-Trade I'm, I'm gonna give them two stars out of five stars um, for a company that is as established as they are they are a uh, an absolute um, They are a pretty um, scammy company as, as far as I'm concerned.